हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल इंजीनियरिंग गुरु पैंड एंड टी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर वन मोर इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ कैनेमेटिक्स इन थेरी ऑफ मशीन सब्जेक्ट एंड टॉपिक इज क्लेंस कंस्ट्रक्शन क्लेंस कंस्ट्रक्शन मेथड इज यूज टू फाइंड द वेलोसिटी एंड एसलेशन ऑफ द लिंक यू कैन कनेक्ट विथ इंजीनियरिंग गुरु ट्वेंटी एंड टी यूट्यूब चैनल बाई सब्सक्राइबिंग You can also follow FB page, also join Telegram channel, WhatsApp channel, and WhatsApp group. Now understand the crank construction by using one example. The crank and connecting rod of reciprocating engine are 200 mm and 700 mm respectively. Means here uh, crank length is 200 mm and connecting rod is 700 mm. here this is the problem of slider crank mechanism the crank is rotating in clockwise direction at 120 radian per second so find with the clench construction first one that is velocity and acceleration of the pistons this is the first goal second velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting rod and final angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod at the instant when the crank is at 30 degree to the idc so let's see the given data here oc uh, this is the crank length is 200 mm and convert into meter that is 0.2 meter length of connecting rod pc equal to 700 mm 0.7 meter here omega is given that is 120 120 radian per seconds so our goal to find vp and ap that is velocity and acceleration of piston second vd and ad velocity and acceleration of the midpoint and angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod means omega pc and alpha pc how to achieve uh, this three term so we will see one by one by using graphical method we also find velocity and acceleration for this you can refer the playlist of k and tom subject so first of all uh, here uh, oc is given 200 mm means crank length 200 given 200 mm so for this we are assuming the scale 200 mm equal to 2 cm so Uh, find out for value this one centimeter. So one centimeter equal to one hundred mm. Whenever we do the diagram by using this type of scale, and that value will be in centimeter. So first draw random center line. Then take one random point. Here IDC is given thirty degree. So draw the thirty degree crank angle. so this angle is 30 degree and this length is 2 cm because we are assuming scale 200 mm equal to 2 cm means this crank length is 2 cm as per our scale now here length of connecting rod is given 700 mm so from the scale this length is 7 cm means oc is 2 cm and pc is 7 cm as per assuming scale now draw one perpendicular line to the op draw one perpendicular line to the op and extend this pc line there is connecting rod line that will be intersect this perpendicular line and this line so this point is called point m and this triangle ocm This triangle OCM is known as Klein's velocity diagram. So, see very carefully. This triangle will represent the Klein's velocity diagram. Uh, this is the VPO, means velocity of P with respect to O. You can also write this VP because point O is fixed. This is VPC, means velocity of P with respect to C. This is the velocity of piston, and this is here 
this is the VCO. You can also write VC. Now, take center C and the radius CM. Draw one circle. Again, take center of connecting node point that is point, point D and draw another circle and the radius is CD. This circle and this circle will be intersect here. So this point called K and another point is called point L. And this KL line will be intersect this connecting row line here. So this point is called point Q. Remember this thing this two circle will be intersect from here this is point k and this is point l join this line kl that will be intersect at point pc or we can say connecting row line here so this is point called q now join this cn point so triangle c q and o you can see in this red line the quadrilateral CQ and O, which is known as Klein's acceleration diagram. So here you can see this is the Klein's acceleration diagram. So as early we see that O triangle OCM is known as Klein's velocity diagram, and quadrilateral CQ and O is which is known as Klein's acceleration diagram. So this triangle uh, will show the velocity value and this will show the acceleration value. So this OC line is common for both velocity and acceleration diagram. Now uh, take the center of CM. So it, it is D1 and join this OD1 line. So this is the midpoint of CM. Same, draw parallel line to OP from D point will be intersect here. This is the intersect in CN line here. This is point D2 and join this OD2. So this is point OD1 midpoint and this is for acceleration OD2. First open YouTube and write down engineering guru material D. Search this is engineering guru YouTube channel. Open this and subscribe this for more update. Uh, various playlists available here. You can see uh, this is for uh, various subject. This is for velocity diagram, uniform velocity, for cam profiles, and the this and more video, more playlists are here. Now, first velocity and acceleration of the piston P. Here, this is the piston point P. So velocity of piston P equal to VP means omega into om as we know that v equal to r omega r is the om so this is the om value so this represent velocity of p with respect to o or we can say vp so omega is already given that is 120 radian per second and measure this length this is the 1.3 centimeter into scale remember this thing Whenever we take the value from this diagram, always multiplication of scale is required. So here, this is 1.3 centimeter and this scale 100 mm. So that value will be 15600 mm per second square. So convert into meter per second. So velocity of piston point P equal to 15.6 meter per second. So we achieve the first point velocity of piston. Now find the acceleration of the piston point P. So AP equal to omega square into NO. So I already told you well, velocity value we gain from this triangle and for acceleration we follow this for the lateral. AP equal to omega square into NO means this value. So by the measurement, this value will be 2 cm. So multiply by scale. So AP equal to 200, AP equal to 280 meter per second square. So this is the acceleration of the piston point P. 
so whenever you measure the value from this diagram that will represent the value in centimeter so multiplication is required so from this you can get the value in mm now second goal velocity and acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting road so here this is the midpoint od1 for velocity diagram and this is od2 for midpoint of acceleration diagram so here od1 equal to 1.4 cm here this is the 1.4 cm multiplication by scale so you will get 1.4 cm into 100 mm so 140 mm equal to 0.14 mm so od1 value equal to 0.14 mm so velocity of point d equal to vd equal to omega into od1 so this omega value 120 od1 we find uh, from the diagram 0.14 so vd equal to 16.8 meter per second now find the acceleration of the midpoint of the connecting road means od2 here this is the od2 by the measurement that value will be 1.9 cm multiply by scale so that value 0.190 meter so acceleration of this midpoint of the connecting road equal to omega square into od2 equal to 120 square into 1.9 so that uh, value will be 2736 meter per second square it is more simple as that whenever you find the velocity so consider only omega but whenever you find the acceleration consider this omega square same here for velocity omega and for acceleration that is omega square now final angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting road vpc vpc this is here vpc equal to omega into cm means this value v vpc equal equal to omega into cm so measure this value from this diagram so cm value will be 1.7 cm so convert it into meter so this value will be 0.7 0.173 into 120 so vpc equal to 20.76 meter per second omega pc so angular velocity of the connecting road equal to vpc divided by length of pc this is the velocity and this is the length of pc vpc we already find 20.76 and pc equal to 0.7 so omega pc equal to 29.66 radian per seconds now final angular acceleration of the connecting road so for this we have to consider a tangential component tangential component of pc is qn remember this thing uh, this uh, qc is radial component and qn is the tangential component uh, measure this qn value and multiplication with the scale that value will be 0.09 into omega square means 120 square so tangential component of pc equal to 1339.2 meter per second square and final angular acceleration of the connecting road means alpha pc equal to tangential component of pc divided by length of pc so we already find this tangential component 1339.2 divided by 0.7 so final value 1913.14 radian per second square this is the value of angular acceleration of the connecting road by using this case construction diagram we can find velocity as well as acceleration well so if you find my video very helpful you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel stay on this channel more video will be come of this subject thank you